Welcome to your Las Vegas Homes channel. My name is Ryan, this is Peter. We got an awesome home today to show you with this next gen suite that is gonna be right here in this section of the house. Let's go ahead and check this thing out. Okay guys, so today we are in Sienna Ridge in Spring Valley. This development is built by Lennar and I know some of you have a preference for builders and preferences for ones you want and don't want. This one is built by Lennar and everything is included with Lennar. This is the Bellevue model, 2,600 square feet, four bedrooms, three and a half bathrooms. We do have a separate entrance here, you'll see that. That is for the next gen suite. You probably We're, saw me pointing, yeah, that's, I wanted you to bring that up because it's like, well, wait a minute, we got two front doors. Um, yeah, that's gonna be the next gen suite. We'll take you around there. Let's enter the main entrance of the home. So as you come in, you'll have stairs to your right, but we'll do this area first, and this will be sort of your great room and kitchen area. Uh, surprisingly, it doesn't feel as big or as open as the previous model we shot in this community, even though this is a smaller floor plan, um, but it's still relatively a decent size, still plenty of space to enjoy as well. Yeah, total square footage of the home is gonna be over 2,600 square feet, but this area right here is just more like rectangular, elongated. Uh, it doesn't feel as big as it might seem, but we just want to keep it honest with you guys. Again, we try to be your eyes, ears, and nose because you can't be here to really experience it with us. Uh, and Peter's going to walk us through the kitchen and talk about what we got going on over there. Yeah, so we have a good size island. Um, it's a functional island, so you can have your seats or your bar stools uh, on the other side. It has the lift. It has the sink built into the island in this one, which um, my wife is personally not a fan, so that means I'm not a fan because happy wife, happy life. But uh, some people have a preference for it being here. Again, not as much counter space as the other kitchen we were in in this, uh, in this um, community, Ryan, and not as much uh, cabinet space, even though this is their bigger model. Yeah, and if you guys do want to go see the other home, it will be on the playlist um, on this channel. So after this video, as a matter of fact, stick around all the way to the end. We'll talk to you about communities, HOAs, amenities, all that good stuff, and then we'll have that video pop up for you, and you can easily just tap your screen right there and you can go and check out the other home on this channel for this community in Sienna Ridge. But as I said, everything is included, so that will include your refrigerator, include your microwave, um, we'll also have the washer and dryer upstairs as well. We do have storage coming off uh, this hallway off the kitchen as well. And then we have a half bathroom here as well. We have a two car garage, but we can't, uh, can't show that at the moment as this door is locked. And then as you come in this way, so from the kitchen, there's a little hallway and then you come in next to the garage and you have an entrance to what will actually be the next gen suite, which is the door we showed you near the front door, the two entrances. So when you come into this, it's like a, it's almost like an apartment, guys. It actually surprised me how big it was, as I thought it was just this little bit. Has the, the bathroom there, full-size bathroom. Then you have a, a, a nice-sized bedroom. Yeah, not a massive bedroom, but still a good-sized bedroom for sure. It has a, a closet there as well, just a standard-sized closet. And then as you come through here, to the right would be where you would enter through the door that we showed you outside. It does have its own stacked washer dryer here, so you don't need to use the one in the main house or the main area. And then you have this nice kitchen and sort of living area as well. And it comes again, fridge, microwave, everything you would need really. Whoops, nearly tripped over there, guys. And you got this nice seating area, which um, I didn't expect it would be this big. It really does feel like it could be a, an apartment on its own. Yeah, when we came through here initially, we were just kind of wowed by like the surprising amount of space that was in here. The the size of the little mini kitchen, like it just, it just kept going. Um, and it was pretty interesting to see. What I love as well is in some of these next gen suites or attached casitas or whatever we're gonna call them these days, in-law suites, sometimes the kitchen and living area is sort of right next to the bedroom. There's not that separation. So if you're cooking or whatever, it, the smells are gonna go into your bedroom. Here, there's definitely that separation, the, the living part and the sleeping part. And it feels nice. Yeah, it doesn't feel like a studio. It feels like its own separate, you know, apartment and space 
over here maybe you you know um, have your your in-laws living with you or maybe you have an older kid that needs their own space right they're in college and they kind of want their own space um, even your you know teenagers who just like kind of need that separation from mom and dad for a little bit Here we go with the backyard. So again, they lock these. Uh, we can't show you the backyard. They do keep these locked for uh, safety reasons. And a lot of times people forget to lock them back, but there you go. You can see how they have this one designed with the pergola, some concrete and some turf. All right, not a lot of uh, homes out here have real grass. Some of you may not like that. Some of you may. Um, I enjoy not having to spend my <laughs> Saturdays doing yard work. So um, it's pretty nice. I just go up these stairs. These stairs sort of feel wider than your average stairs to me. I don't know if it's, I don't know if I'm just losing weight, Ryan, or if it's just they actually are uh, wider, but they definitely feel wider. Well, I'm not gonna judge you right now, but <laughs> they uh, definitely do feel wider. Then you come up the stairs, you have a really nice loft area. Now, what I'm a big fan of is you have a nice comfy area where you can sit and chill out, watch TV, relax, but then there's also an area here where you can have that as a home office, and it's still separate where there's a lot of lofts it's sort of the one big square area, mm -hmm. and that's it. You got the separate areas as part of the loft, and I, I'm a big fan of that. Yeah, and it's a really good size up here too. It's not cramped by any means, and like you said, it's big enough that there's like that section, and then there's this section. Then we have a laundry room. It's a good size laundry room. I mean, being picky myself, I think that with the space that's here, that they could do a lot more with this space. I think you could maybe have space for a sink. You could have some cabinets. Um, for me, I think there's just a bit of a waste of space there. I think they could have used that space a lot better. But you can definitely do a lot with it if you have your own ideas. Um, I don't know about you, but for some reason, I got this thing on Pinterest where I like looking at laundry room designs. But they could do a lot with that. Laundry room designs, wow. I never knew that about you, Ryan. We have a, a standard size uh, secondary room here. Um, sort of your average size. Good size windows though, bringing in the light in this house from the front of the house. It has a, a normal size closet and then it has a Jack and Jill bathroom with the uh, adjoining bedroom. You got double vanity, um, obviously for the two bedrooms. It's got the toilet area there. So this is behind the door, right? So this door, obviously for that room, and then as he went through. And then into the, the other bedroom. Same sort of size, really, as the uh, as the other bedroom that we were just in adjoining this one. Pretty standard. Again, the closet, nice big window, some good mountain views, and I think you can probably see around maybe the strip, no, that's the other side of the house. You can, you can see, see Durango. Durango back there, uh, Durango Hotel and Casino, which is gonna be brand new, opening up here in November. But yeah, a lot of natural light, and that's the front of the house too, guys, just to orient you. That is the front of the house, and then we're gonna walk you to... We'll come back through this nice loft area. I, I'm, we've seen some really nice lofts in some of the home tours with them, but I, I'm a big fan. A lot of this layout isn't my taste, but the loft area, I think it definitely works. We come into the primary. It's a really good sized primary suite. And then we walked, so we did walk through the double door here. Let me close these a little bit to give you a better idea of the size of this room. It's definitely a good size. If we go corner to corner, I mean, this is chunky furniture as well. Yeah, it is, it is. It's chunky furniture. But it's definitely um, it's a good size. It's not losing weight making up the stairs, but <laughs> here we go. It needs to do a few more laps of it then, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> then you come into the bathroom, you got Twin vanity here as well. This one is again like the, the previous model we looked at. If you haven't seen that already, go and check it out. It's got the tub and the walk-in. Personally speaking, and again, it's all personal preferences. I'd prefer to just have one big shower, um, but that's just myself and how I like my bathrooms. But everyone's different and you know, for you, this could work as well. Um, and then you come into the walk-in closet. I mean, it's functional, it's enough space. Oh yeah. Plenty of space to hang up your, your clothes, plenty of space to add more things in there as well, to organize your shoes maybe or something. There's your private toilet. Yeah, and then again, if you wanna see the other home on this channel, it actually did have a bigger walk-in closet on the other home did, 
Um, but more it, like an extra bedroom than a, a walk-in closet. Pretty much, pretty much. And again, guys, that'll pop up for you at the end of this video if you wanna go ahead and check that out. And that information right there on the screen, you can reach out to us however you're comfortable and whenever you're ready, that number and email. All right, I'm gonna look at that loft because we've talked about it enough. All right, you guys, this is gonna be the part of the video where we talk to you about the HOA, the SIDS, LIDS, lot premiums, uh, where we're located, all that other good stuff. This is the part we're gonna to talk to you about the area, the location, where we're located at in the valley. We're gonna cover a bunch of things here, so definitely don't skip this one, because if you like this home, these are the things that could impact you, especially if you are a fan of this area. So let's start out with Spring Valley, where we are at in the Las Vegas Valley, which is Spring Valley and what's nearby. That's a lot of valleys in that one Lots sentence. Lots of valleys, there. I almost got confused. <laughs> so as Ryan said, today we're in Spring Valley, which is to the southwest of Las Vegas, sort of west of the Las Vegas Strip, if you wanna use that as your orientation not too far from the spring valley mountain range so some really good mountain views actually from from these homes you get some good mountain views really close to summerlin as well so if you know about summerlin or if you watch some of our other videos there's so much to go and enjoy in the summerlin area in terms of entertainment shopping dining ryan's favorite casino there red rock is there as well so you can you know that's almost on your doorstep as well chinatown is located in spring valley so that has some great asian restaurants some great Asian stores, some businesses. My favorite Korean barbecue is there. So if you want to know that one, pop that in the comments below and I'll share that one with you. And then Ikea is so close by as well and the entrance to the 215. And we always talk about freeway access being, you know, ideal and being not too far away from a freeway to get around town. And obviously here in this community, you're gonna be close to the 215. And the bonus is also Ikea is there. My wife definitely loves Ikea. I was just there not too long ago, but the freeway access, and again, I don't live in this area, I live in the Northwest, and for me, like a 20 minute drive to get here wasn't bad at all, just hit the 215 and I just come straight down. So we always talk about how important that could be depending on what your situation is and where you need to get to where you wanna go. Now let's talk about the HOA. What, how much is the HOA fee and what's included with that? So, you know, we always get asked all the time. We don't get asked, Peter, Ryan, what are the price of this home? It's actually, what's the HOA fee and what does it include? Yep. So we know this information is important to you. So for this community, the HOA fee is $51 per month. It's not a gated community. So that fee will just really be the upkeep and, you know, keeping the, the communal, the common areas really clean, tidy, looking really presentable. And if you guys haven't been in a HOA community or if you don't know what they're like, you can always tell the difference, even if it's not gated, you can always tell the difference when you're driving in one as opposed to a community that isn't HOA. So it's gonna feel quite clean, quite well looked after, well maintained, very presentable. So $51 for me is really reasonable. Definitely reasonable. And again, to that point of the HOAs, like some people are like, they're just terrified of an HOA. They don't want an HOA because they don't wanna to be told what they can and can't do with the house. But at the same time, like you said, there's other areas where there's just cars all over the street. There's one house that is bringing down the value of all the others. So when you think about HOAs, just gotta weigh out those pros and cons and think about it like for $51, that $51 for the upkeep of the area can also help upkeep the value of your home, okay? So that's the HOA. Let's talk about SIDS and LIDS. Maybe you've watched another video that we have, maybe you haven't. I always explain it as the nutshell version of a SIDS and LIDS, which is an acronym is repaying the city for building the infrastructure of the community, your sewers, your roads, all that good stuff. What are our SIDS and LIDS in this community? So yeah, and you know, a lot of the new homes will have SIDS and LIDS on them for a period of time. They have a payoff balance and they also get transferred through ownership. So if you were to buy a new home and then sell it, if it's not paid off, you'd also have to um, carry that fee as well if you're buying a secondary home. In this community, the SIDS and LIDS are a humongous zero, so there's no SIDS and LIDS for this community. Which is really nice. So the, uh, the, uh, just for context, all right, the SIDS and LIDS that I inherited was over $6,000. So to have a zero dollar uh, SIDS and LIDS is pretty good. 
Now shifting to lot premiums because these things start to add up, right? So we've already said HOA, 51 bucks, okay? Says in lids, zero. Now what about lot premiums? So lot premiums in uh, this community, you know, something sometimes people forget to ask about when they get, you know, excited looking at new homes and the bells and whistles, they actually forget about lot premiums and a lot of these communities will have lot premiums. This community, the premiums range from $2,000 to $10,000. And it's just going to come down to many different things, whether you've got a, a, an oversized lot or where your home's located or the different floor plan. Um, but two to 10,000, I don't think is a massive, huge amount. I'd say budget for middle range of that. So maybe uh, five to 6,000 should be okay. We've seen some pretty hefty lot premiums. So those aren't bad as well. So often, you know, considerably, right? But you have to reach out, right? With that information right there on the screen, again, like I said, you can reach out. We can get you in here, make sure you're protected and get all those uh, details for you, especially if you like one of these homes that you have seen. We got tons of other videos on this channel. They're gonna start popping up for you here in just a second. Again, my name is Ryan, this is Peter with the Las Vegas Homes team. Go ahead and check those videos out right now.